Hi, I'm Aldias in Medium, and thank you so much for tuning in today. I want to try to bring religion and spirituality closer together, and this is what this pod is all about. I will talk about my own thoughts and feelings as I am both LDS and have spiritual gifts, something that I've had my whole life, but I always thought that it was hard to combine these gifts with my religion. This has torn me into two directions, and I have talked to many people who feel the same way. I can't choose not to have my spiritual gifts, but I can choose how I use them, and I always want to use them for good and to help others. I believe my heavenly parents gave them to me for a reason. So, this is me. Join my quest for knowledge. So, this is actually one of the first episodes that I'm recording after being sick with COVID. I'm starting slowly to get my energy back. I'm not coughing as much as I used to do. Got a sense of like a stomach flu episode after the COVID. So, looking back, I think I've been bedridden or sick or at home almost six out of seven weeks. Uh, so, uh, I'm really looking forward to feeling well again and getting my energy level back. But during my sickness, these were thoughts that came to me. So today I'm going to do a Q&A, questions and answers. So I have gotten some questions and I thought it would be fun to try to answer them in a Q&A episode. One of my listeners reached out and we had a beautiful conversation and I asked for questions that I could try to answer. So this episode will be about that. You have already got some answers, but I will do my best to try to answer all the questions I got one by one. So here I go. How do you further develop your gifts? Since I believe there are as many gifts and levels of gifts that there are different personalities on earth, it is a hard question to answer. But you have to start with you and try to figure out what are your gifts and then try to find information about it. Nowadays, there are so many books and online information that you can find and courses that you can take. And like I said, look to the scriptures. They talk about spiritual gifts in the scriptures. Moroni 10, 8 to 18, DNC 46, 11 to 33, and 1 Corinthians 12, 1 through 12. But I believe these are just some of the gifts. There are so many gifts out there. If we honestly believe that we are divine beings having an earthly experience, we have to understand that our heavenly parents and our divine heritage is vast and different for all. So just be open-minded, follow your intuition, pray, read about it, and realize what are you thinking about? What do you feel passionate about? And what are your feelings pulled towards or drawn towards? Especially since you, since you were young. And of course, read your patriarchal blessing. Next question. How can I explore what the Lord has in mind for them? Hmm, like I said, I have no clue of what he wants me to do. It is a little like try and error. He wants to see how much faith we have, and he wants for us to choose. So follow the path of least resistance, because I believe that when we do the right thing, the thing that we were supposed to do, we get in the flow. When we don't do what we're supposed to is when the hardship starts. That is just my thought once again, but that doesn't count the hardship that are meant for us to learn and grow and evolve, because we need those hardships too. But in everyday life, there should be a flow. And reading your patriarchal blessing, me reading it now, I totally get new inspiration than when I read it before. And as I have grown, he unlocks new insights for me. How do other people operate their gifts? Hard question. I've had the pleasure to go to a lot of different kind of medium courses and met some incredible people in my life. And what I have learned is that no one is alike and that we all have issues and compare our gifts to others. Don't. What is yours is yours for a reason and you are the perfect person to have those gifts. But look to others with similar gifts and see how they do to grow them. But since there are so many out there, it's really hard to cover all the gifts. So you just have to be patient and looking around. And hopefully we can grow this community so that we can get more people in here so we can get more knowledge from each and every one. My process. Hmm. My process has been my whole life. And <laughs> I'm still in my process. I'm still in the middle of my journey and it has really come one step at a time. I found something and started developing that and that led to the next step, and the next step, and the next. He didn't let me do it all at once. 
and I'm being stubborn, so he understood that he had to make me want it, which have taken some time and required for me to become single to fully accept and start to grow further. What are my gifts? I have the gift of healing, and apparently I also need to use communication in the healing process. So healing through communication is a big one. To see complex things and try to make it more understandable. To see how the gospel and the spirit world works together. And to talk and feel and see spirits, angels, or other things on other frequencies. I'm still working on seeing the limits to my gifts. Those are some of the things that I come to think about. How I develop them. Hmm. Um, being mindful, I have to work on it almost daily in some capacity. I get to work with children that are disabled and sometimes they don't have speech, which is perfect to work on tuning in on them as souls. It's like a mother and her baby cries. She will soon be able to differentiate the cry of being hungry or thirsty or tired or in need of a diaper change. You will just know. But in the beginning, it was hard. Now I can just mentally tune in to what it is I want to focus on and let the energy flow into me. Like when I'm writing this, I just open my heart and my energy field and write what comes to me and trust it. How I use them. Ooh. I love to help people. I love to listen to people. And when they talk, I know what questions to ask for them to overcome and heal. I use that method with me. I listen to myself in pain and I get the answers and I work on the answers within me to help me heal. And each time new insights comes that I wasn't ready for in the beginning. It's like an inner knowing. But since I know of the body and how cells store memories, and I know in what areas and organs different emotions linger, I can treat them at the same time. It's sort of my gift. So for me it comes easy. It's just what comes naturally for me. And sometimes I can feel the energy of someone passing on, being there. And I start talking and I get words in my head. And I get words in my head, or personality traits, or a picture in my head. So I tell them what I feel, see, or hear. And if they know who I'm talking about, I get a message and I relay it. What is that experience like for me? Well, it's really rewarding. Whenever I can do something to help someone else, whether it be physical, mental, emotional pain, it feels like the best feeling in the world. And I feel so grateful to be able to be a small part of that. I feel blessed. How did I grow them? I started taking different courses and it's like a jigsaw or like the church. You listen to the general conference and you get one piece from one speaker and another from another and afterwards you will have gotten what was meant for you. And someone else listening to the exact same conference will have gotten what was meant for them. So going to different sources, trying different approaches and then it's try and error. But in the try and error I always want to make sure that I'm calibrated to Christ. He is my guiding light, and as long as I have my testimony strong, I will see and get what will help me and discard the rest. Where am I on my journey? Hmm. Even though I, I've known all my gifts of feeling different, like an outcast all my life, I've taken baby steps towards it, and I did some courses while in the marriage. But it wasn't until I was in separation that it started to go faster, and I felt more and more inspiration flooding through. But a lot of that have to do with me understanding, fully accepting and embracing the knowledge that I am a daughter of God's. And as that, I have a legacy of God's and a heritage of God's, but also a life path that I need to walk to get there. Where do I see myself going? Hmm, I want to go back to my parents in heaven and going there as a full grown warrior, healer, peace fighter. I don't know if that might sound corny, but that's how I feel. My goal is set on returning to them. And hopefully not alone, but we'll see about that. What is mediumship? Hmm. Mediumship is the ability to communicate, see, feel, and convey messages from those who passed or are on the other side of the veil. At least that's what it says on the internet. I just googled it. For me, it is using my inner knowledge, whether it be communicating with spirits, plants, or animals, or healing communication with bodies and cells, or communicating with time, past, present, or future, to be able to tap into informational energy. It is all energy, though, and frequencies. So for me, being a medium is learning to understand frequencies 
and how you can alter yourself to tap into different frequencies and receive and transmit information. How does it differ? It differs because we're all in different energy frequencies and we first need to work on our own state and that state of mind can vary from one minute to the next. Then it is what you feel drawn to. For me it's helping people with pain or animals. But it's like Shrek and the onion. We all have different layers and once you peel one away, another one is there. And we all have multiple gifts. So there is no one solution fits all. And since I didn't have time to finish all the questions, there will be an episode two on this Q&A. Until next time, be the light, share the light, spread the light, shine. This is my journey. Thank you so much for keeping me company today. Please download, like, share and subscribe and help spread the light and spread the word to expand our community. Let's bring more love, peace and unity to this world. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Always be grateful, kind and loving. Be brave and remember to step out of your comfort zone and smile. If you support us on Patreon, you will get access to our meditations and extra materials so you can download them as mp3. Also, we now have a Facebook group which you can access from our Facebook community. Please answer the questions as you apply to participate. It will be a safe haven where we can keep discussing religion and spirituality, our spiritual gifts and self-development. Remember, one person can make a difference, but together we can change the world.